Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin and I'm so excited you decided to stop by and check out this video. Happy December. And if you are returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, today is December 1st. I cannot believe it. It is officially Christmas season, right? Um, I feel like it's a lot later than December 1st though. I don't know if it's because we were sick or what, but I feel like I'm, I don't know, behind when I don't think I really am that far behind, but I feel like I am. Okay. Anyways, um, we're going to be using, sorry, I just had a brain fart. Okay. We're going to be using the Coffee Monsters Co. December kit, um, in my Hobonichi cousin. And we're going to go with, um, Tombow color 772. I thought about bringing in a blue or like a limey green, but I decided I'm just going to keep it with this pink color. Um, just because I'm weird like that. I don't like so many different colors. I don't mind it in the stickers, but I don't want to have too many colors with my highlighters for, um, for my important dates. So as you can see, we've got a lot going on in December. Um, maybe that's why I'm feeling all overwhelmed and behind. I don't know. Um, I just saw something a couple weeks ago on Instagram and it comes up every year where it says that I'm going to trade in my regular anxiety for my super fancy Christmas anxiety or holiday anxiety. That's where I'm at every year. Uh, okay. And it's been a hot, crazy morning. Let me tell you guys, let's start planning. We're going to start with my sidebar and then I'll tell you about my fun and exciting morning. Um, so if you are new here, um, and this is your first time seeing one of my videos. Um, I had COVID. My husband and I both had COVID last week. Um, good times, but we're doing fine and we're recovering from it. <clears throat> so my whole deal is, I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice. I'm still very nasally and I get migraines. So I've been feeling like I've had a migraine for like the last three days on the right side of my face, which is typically where I have migraines. And um, you know, I took my migraine medication and I'm like, wow, it's not working. Very low, dull kind of feeling. So um, this morning I decided, I was also feeling like, well, maybe I have like, you know, a chest thing going on. I'm feeling a little short of breath. Let me, let me call the doctor. And I also had a nail appointment at 10 o'clock. <laughs> so, <clears throat> The doctor called me back this morning and said, can you come in at 930? I'm like, sure. So I went to the doctors. Um, I have a sinus infection, which I probably, you know, that's my anxiety was kicking in. I knew it was an, I knew it was a sinus infection because you can actually see on the right side of my, uh, my nose that it's all swollen and that's where it hurts. So yeah, lo and behold, sinus infection, but I'm feeling much better because now I don't have like any like crazy anxiety that, um, you know, COVID still kicking my butt or I'm going to have some complication or something like that. So, um, I feel much better anxiety wise. And I also got my nails done. Ah, okay. And <clears throat> we got some good things happening later today. We have Weston's um, second dance of middle school, which is so super exciting. He asked a girl to go as a friend. So we're really excited about that. And um, we're actually going to get hot cocoa with her younger brother and Spencer because they're husband and wife. <laughs> so me and my mom friend are gonna take them for some hot cocoa um, while the other two are at the dance together. So it's going to be a fun night and I'm glad that I'm not feeling as anxious um, about things. You know, I talked to my doctor negative, so I don't have COVID anymore. Um, so I don't have to worry about anything like that, which is something that I was worried about. Um, I just didn't want to, you know, pass it along to my kids or, you know, someone else's kids or whatever. So feeling much better about everything and decided that, you know what, December is a pretty crazy month. My kids just keep handing me papers of things of th that are happening. So I'm like, let me get in my planner and make sure I have my life together. Um, or as good as it can be, <laughs> because let's face it, I don't really have it together. Planner or no planner, I don't have my ish together. But I try. <laughs> I try. 
but I am pretty excited about Christmas this year. Um, my parents usually come over on Christmas Eve and they, we all wear matching Christmas pajamas, although they can't find theirs. And this is the first year that my kids don't actually need like a bigger size, either one of them. They both fit in their pajamas. So I'm like, oh, cool. And my parents, here they come, the adults. Cause you know, um, I'm not the adult. They're the adults. So. <laughs> and they're like, we can't find ours. So, um, I think what we're going to do is my family, me and Joe and the kids are going to wear, oh, I should have done blue. Oh, well, um, we're going to wear our matching quad, let's say, because there's four of us. And then my parents are going to wear another set that we had from another year. But of course, leave it to the adults to ruin it. But yeah, it's fun. They come over. We have um, Christmas dinner. I make um, chicken peppercosh, my mother-in-law's recipe, and just to bring a little bit home to my husband, because he's from Pennsylvania, and we don't always go for Christmas, so it's nice to do that. We got into that tradition. I've been doing it for, gosh, a decade. Um, let's see. This month is next. I'm just kind of going by last month's sidebar. It really worked pretty well. Um, there are no checks, but I did it all, I think, most of it. We're going to double check on that one. But yeah, so my parents come over, we do Christmas dinner. And then last year or the year before, because of COVID, um, we weren't spending it with my, like her sisters and my cousins and things like that, which is totally fine. Um, but I kind of like, you know, they came over, we made a big deal out of it. They slept over. And honestly, I really enjoyed that. Um, we did nothing on Christmas day. We put together some toys for the kids. We played cards. We stayed in our pajamas all day, watched some Christmas movies. My mom and I cooked and I really, really, really loved that. Um, so last year and my cousin did the same with her, with her, um, brothers and her mom and dad. So last year when we were talking about it, she was like, you know, it's not that I don't want to invite you because I do. And I'm like, no, 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 I totally get it. I'm like, I'm, I'm liking the whole just being home and like slowing down. I see my family um, for New Year's Day because we celebrate my, um, my cousin's birthday and then we celebrate my aunt's birthday and we have a New Year's Day party. So we still get to see each other and exchange gifts with the kids and spend time together. And I think um, we both prefer that and it has nothing to do with like lack of love or anything like that it's just we both have kids and it's just nice to not rush and get dressed and you know we were the kids that were you know we went to my aunt Carleen's when um when we were kids and I even though I was so super excited to go be with my cousins I was an I'm only child um it was really hard for me to like leave all the toys behind I know it sounds silly but I was also a child um, and you know, you get all these toys and then it's like, okay, we got to get ready. We got to go. And I was doing that with my kids and I remember not liking that. So, and I think my cousin remembers that too. We were really only allowed to take like one or two toys and they were small. And that's eventually what was happening with my kids. No, no, you can only take two things and they have to be small and whatever. And you know, with Wes and everything, it's a lot of, um, both my kids, not even just Wes, but it's a lot of, um, stimulation and you know for even Joe and I and it's just a lot and then you come home and you're exhausted so um it was it was nice it was nice to just um be home and relax and not change and not have to rush and you know all the things so um we last year my mom is not happy about it but I think she's kind of grown fond of it she gets it now um but it's become a little bit of a tradition tradition words um for the last few years to um just be here and sleep over and enjoy the kids and I don't know <clears throat> I like it that's really all that matters no I'm kidding <laughs> okay so those of you who might be new to Hobie Nichi Cousin or to Coffee Monster Co. kits monthly kits um she includes these blank bars that fit right over the red Sundays, or if there's like um, a holiday that's red, if you have the Japanese version, but they color their Sundays in red. And um, I really like how you can just kind of add, um, add this over it. So it kind of makes it pretty. It makes it match a little bit more instead of it just being like red in your face. 
in case you were wondering what I was doing. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay. And then I have to write in these dates because I will forget very quickly. All right, where's my pen? All right, so we're gonna be using the Uniball One. I love this pen, guys, seriously, it's awesome. Okay, oh, I have fuzz on me and my battery on my watch is dying. Hmm. All right, so this is the third, ninth, 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st. Best month of the year. And it's been a pretty good year, I have to say. We've had some ups and downs, but it's been good. Okay, so let's start with the first one, my nail appointment. I already did it. Today is the first, but that's okay. We're going to put it in anyways, guys. So this way, so like for instance, um, I couldn't remember when I got my nails done last because I didn't put it in here. So I didn't write it in here. I, I think I had it in my, I had it in one of my planners. I had it somewhere. I had to like count. Actually, I lied. I didn't have it done here. I had it done on the 10th because I had a hair appointment on the 17th. And those came about after I did my monthly. So um, note to self, write it down. Because I was like, hmm, is my appointment this week or next week? Because I usually do about three weeks. So um, I had to track down when the last appointment was. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video for a second. My mom was calling me. I wanted to make sure everything was okay. She is home sick. She has RSV. So, yay. Um, okay. And we've got Spencer's appointment tomorrow. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I keep forgetting. So, two things. One, I forgot to update you guys, and somebody brought it to my attention. Um, I forgot to update everybody on what happened with Prue, and I don't think I have since. So, if you have been following along... Um, Prue is my elder cat, my old lady, and she, um, a few weeks ago fell off the cat post and I think we, we weren't sure what happened. So I never updated you guys because like a whirlwind happened, but I did end up taking her to the vet. The vet did, um, an exam and said that she either had, um, like not an ear infection, but, um, basically vertigo for cats. And, um, he didn't see any signs of a stroke. He couldn't really rule out like any type of tumor, although he didn't think so. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where they have to, you know, run a bunch of tests and, and do things that cost a lot of money and there is no guarantee or, you know, um, just, just, she's old. I don't know how else to say it. And I, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, because she's very near and dear to our hearts. We've had her for 20, almost 20 years. Um, so the doctor wasn't overly concerned. She's eating and drinking and moving around just fine now. Um, and she is in her normal habits and doing her normal things. So the doctor wasn't super concerned about anything and it seems to have passed for the most part. He does think that she might've hurt her hip when she fell though. Um, but nothing like where she's in pain, but she, she walks and when she sits, like it kind of slides out underneath her a little bit. Um, so we just said, keep an eye on that. So I just wanted to update everybody because um, I think somebody left a comment and I totally forgot to, with everything that happened, I completely forgot to update everyone. Um, so in case you were wondering about Prue, she's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start getting confused as to what is where. So we're going to start writing in some things. All right, we've got my nails that happened today. Make sure I write that in. So, and then I actually have to put in the 21st while I'm sitting here thinking about it. Because I did make my next appointment for the 21st. I did it on Thursday. So in case Joe decides to take that Friday off, I'm not sitting at a nail salon. Okay. And then this is Spencer. What time is that? 5 p.m. I gotta double check on that. Um, cause I don't think it was at 5 PM. I thought it was at 11. Why did I write down five? I think it's at 11. I'm not going to write it down though yet. Okay. And then Bo has his appointment 
at 10 o'clock on Monday for his first vet appointment. He's gonna have, a, have to have a couple of shots. Um, Tuesday is my mom's birthday. Although hopefully she's feeling better because like I said, she's sick right now. She's got RSV, <laughs> no fun. Okay, and then we have Weston's IEP and that's at 810 and then it's sports day for him. Let's see what I can find for him. <clears throat> and then Friday is, what was Friday? Oh, it's right here, winter ball or winter wonderland. And then I have to write in, what time is that? From 5.30 to 7.30. I have to write in, um, they have like a holiday shop and I can't, I don't know if it's the same day. I think that I have to send her in to school with some money, but I wanna double check on that. And so I don't forget, um, <clears throat> I might put, I'm gonna put a bill due over here because I don't have a bill due on the eighth. I'm gonna be like, why is that there? Where's my tweezers? But just like a little, and I'm gonna put in four, four Spencer. <clears throat> okay, I'll know what that is. All right, um, my kids are going to be sleeping at my cousin's house and hopefully we're all going out for my mom's birthday. Um, hopefully everybody is feeling better and we're good to go. That's what we're hoping for. Because we still haven't really celebrated my birthday. And like I told my mom today, I was like, because we were going to do it this Sunday. And I'm like, don't worry about it. We're going to take the kids over the weekend like as like a, a makeup so we could have our date, Joe and I. And I'm like, don't worry about it, mom. You're sick. We're sick. It's fine. Like, it happens. Or we were sick, I should say. Um, so hopefully we'll all be good on the 9th and good to go. That's what we're hoping for. Okay, what else we got going on? Spencer's Chorus. I'm so excited. <clears throat> so we've been to a couple of concerts for Wes when he was in fourth and fifth grade. And now Spencer's in fourth grade and she's doing the violin and she's in chorus. So I'm super excited to finally see my baby girl. We saw her do her dance recital last year, but still. Um, let's see, chorus concert. I'm really excited. 9 a.m. I'm debating on whether or not um, maybe Weston will go in a little late and he'll come too. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> Ooh. I am going to take a sip of water. I'm having some trouble. Okay, that's better. So now on the 20th, we got a lot going on on the 20th. It's my, my mother-in-law's birthday. And then my mom and dad's anniversary. So we're gonna do a bigger box here. And mom, B-Day, and then mom and dad anniversary. Okay, got my nail appointment down. And then here, um, I might, this is Christmas break for my kids. I might use some washi to kind of like mark it in. Maybe like, I like the head, the emoji head one. Hmm, all right, hold on. We'll see, we got Christmas going on here. I'm trying to think if I have any seasonal, let me see, let me see what's on this sheet. Just to mark in Christmas. Do we want to do, I like the Christmas tree. Mm, maybe we'll do the presents. We'll do the presents. And we got Christmas Eve too. Which one can I use for Christmas Eve? That kind of, that's supposed to be Santa. Let's use Santa. <clears throat> I kind of like, I'm mad that Christmas is on a Sunday and then Christmas day is on a Monday because I want the days to like be next to each other. I don't know, <laughs> I'm weird. Okay, so we got Christmas Eve. And then we've got Christmas morning. Okay. Yeah. 
I would love to hear from you. Do you have like any Christmas traditions that you like to do every year or holiday just in general? I'm trying to be all inclusive. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, please, if you would like to share with us, um, share something that is a tradition. Um, Cause I love hearing from you guys, especially around the holidays. I think it's super fun to like see all the different things that we do for the holidays and our favorite things maybe. Okay. Also, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget. Hit the little bell notification because we're in December. It is planner season, so there is a lot of new things coming to the channel. So be sure you're notified for that. And if you like this video or any other video we put out on the channel, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and we appreciate it. All right. Let's see. I think I want to do some washi up here because this is still November. And I think I want to put... I love this <clears throat> theme. It's like a movie popcorn theme, and pizza, and all the things. All right, let's see. I can get this on straight, I swear. And I need my washi card, and I think I'm gonna continue it on to, ooh, I just cut that a couple and a half. Um, right over here too, I think, to have it come across this box too. Might not be straight. Try it over here. <clears throat> I do want to use this piece. So I like doing this thing. I don't know if I filled it out because I was kind of like, I gotta go back to do this. I was a little like, bleh, at the end of November. <laughs> I'm allowed. Um, but I want to do something where I add this in and then we have a highlight sticker. And I like to write in, um, some of the things that happened over the month. Like, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a bad thing or a good thing. For instance, like I probably will fill in one of them for last month saying had COVID for the first time, <laughs> you know, something like that. It's not like a really great thing to highlight, but it's something like, and I'm not very good at it, so I'm not gonna say that I am, but um, it's something that I just would like to kind of go back and like quick, quick glance and just say, oh yeah, that's what happened. And again, I'm not super good at it, um, as you can see. And then sometimes it's just like the way it looks. <laughs> okay, so we have this washi going on up here. Let's do, let's do this one. It's like sound on and play button and stars and stuff like that. If I can get it off. I don't have my glasses on, so things are a little difficult. Like, I don't think this is gonna fit. Let me go fit at the top. Okay, we'll turn on the top. Roll up my sleeves, because I can't do anything, and then we'll just put my glasses on. Why am I fighting it? Okay. So tonight, Weston's going to his dance. I gotta put that down, actually, on the calendar. I didn't put that on. And he has a date, and I'm really excited for him. Took a lot for him to ask. And they're just going as friends. But um, I think it's really cool that um, they have each other. And they seem to have a really good friendship. And I'm really excited for that. Because um, who doesn't love having a good friend, right? Okay. Ooh, I like this. I think it's a little busier than I normally would do, but I like it. Might as well end the year in a big bang, right? Big party. I'm just gonna add this down here. Okay, now this is Christmas break. So for Christmas break, mm, I kind of like the black, but I don't know if it's gonna be too harsh. Mm -hmm. We'll do pink and we'll mark it. Joe takes this week off also. we could be possibly going to Pennsylvania, but I'm not sure. It's been undecided. Usually it's um, just between people being sick with colds and stuff. Um, and my in-laws are older, but it's not even just that. It's, um, we go to Erie, Pennsylvania. So there's usually a lot of snow. All right, how do we want to I think I'm gonna write it in down here. I'm gonna use my Tabo Fudinesque. There we go, the hard tip. 
and I'm just gonna write in um, Christmas break. I think that'll work. You know what, maybe I'll do it at the top. I'm gonna do it across the top. I feel like I'm at a really weird angle. Christmas. Oh, I gotta work on my beads. Break. Okay, so I usually enjoy Christmas break. Joe's home, we spend like the whole week together, and then like we do little things here and there with the kids. Like it, okay. Now, um, okay. I've been using this tracker for reading. I didn't really keep up with it, as you can see, last month. Um, I do like the tracker. I probably will. Um, I'll get it one of these days. All right, do I want to do... What do I want to track? Reading still? Yeah, we'll do my audiobook. I seem to be on an audiobook kick right now. All right, so... And then for finances, we have to take care of... Let me see, did I do everything? Budget for Emma Ryan, Brace... Yes, um, stove. The budget for the stove, that's next. We were looking at some during Cyber Monday and Black Friday, but we did not um, see anything that we liked. What else do I need to remember? Water bill. And next up is Joe's sinus surgery. That's going to happen in the spring. So I want to make sure we have a sinking fund for that. Okay. Appointments. What do we got going on? I don't think we have any appointments. Like doctor appointments. We have the IEP. Um, so I'm going to write that in. And I think that's it. I'm going to leave it open for any other appointments that we might have coming up. But I don't think we have anything else. Um... Maybe my nails, I'll put that in there, we'll see. Oh, actually, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, <clears throat> see, this is the problem. I am not a digital planner, but when I'm out, I have my um, cell phone with me, and sometimes just for like a quick thing, I pull out my cell phone and I put it in there and then I transfer it. Um, and also, sometimes I don't just like want to write messy in my planner. Um, so I might scribble it in somewhere else. Like, and I have like, um, inserts, traveler notebook inserts. So I got to check on the time of this. But me and Spencer have hair appointments on the 17th. And I put it in my phone and I forgot to take it out of my phone and put it in my book. So I have to remember that. I'm going to write it in here too. Hair appointments. Okay, um, important stuff, let's see. I don't really know if there's anything super important. I do want to remember um, Spencer Holiday Shop money. Okay, and then this month we've got finish up the Christmas shopping. And then plan for Christmas dinner. I don't think I have anything else really super duper crazy. It's a lot of kid things that are going on, which is cool. I like that. I'm always very busy. I feel like I'm a completely different planner in the school month than I am. Oh, hi, Poppy. Poppy came to say hello. There really isn't any place for you, girl. This kitty cat has gotten so gigantic, guys. Like, I can't even. Okay. Let's do the fun, wacky holidays, and then we'll put some washi maybe down here and fill it in a little bit more. All right, we've got letter writing day. That's on the 7th. Hmm, that's interesting. I've never had a pen pal. Um, ooh, I've thought about it. Um, when I was younger, I really wanted a pen pal. So maybe I will find a pen pal and write them a letter on the 7th. Um, Nobel Prize Day is on the 10th. I'll put this one up here. Let's see, what else? Crossword Day. Not a fan of crosswords. I like word search, though. 
That is on the 21st. And then we've got, oh, baking soda day. <laughs> oh, these are so funny. I like these. I'm not sure what to do on baking soda day. I use it to clean a lot, so maybe we'll just do some extra cleaning on that Saturday. All right. Um, I do want to put down, I don't know if it would be important for this month. Maybe we'll put it, we'll put it under this month. Um, train ride with kids. Let's put Jess in kids. We're supposed to, we ordered tickets um, for a train ride that we were gonna go on. Good thing we weren't like, had our heart set on that day. We were going to go on it on the day after Thanksgiving, but um, the tickets never came in and also um, I had COVID, so <laughs> there's that. But now the tickets still haven't come in and we're waiting on them. Trying to figure out when we should go again or try to go, I should say not again, because we actually haven't been. <laughs> Put this down here just to add a little extra, a little extra fun. I kind of have a little idea, so we'll see. We'll see how this works out. That like that. And this underneath it, there is some method to my madness. I have a lot of these and I do have some more coming. Let me see what else I've got. I've got these. These are more red. I've got some winter ones. Let's add in some of those. Mm. And I do have a bunch of the pastel ones. So I have a whole other sheet. So let's do... We'll add in some of these. Add in the sweater ones. That looks like Spencer. That's what Spencer looks like when she goes out. <laughs> She's like, Mommy, I don't like the cold. And I'm like, that's okay, babe. Neither do I. <laughs> Put this one here. I don't want it so close to that one, but I don't want it low like this either. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it like that. It's fine. And then we'll put another one down here. What else? I've got this working one, but I don't know if it's the only one I have. And I can't remember if I ordered another one. Mm -hmm. Let's do one of these guys for a movie marathon. I'll put them over here. It's so cute. Um, speaking of, I need to definitely up my game. I've been trying to watch this one Christmas movie since, I don't know, what day is today? Today's Friday. I think it's been since Tuesday, maybe. I have not had a chance to finish watching this movie. And the funny part is, is I think I've already seen most of the movie. I think I watched it last year. Um, but it's one of those like Hallmark movies where it's like the same woman is in a lot of them. And I actually really like her. Um, but um, the guy that's playing in the movie is actually somebody that was just in um, a movie that I just got done watching. So I've been a little confused. Oop. But yeah, I've, I've seen part of it and I'm just trying to get through it. So I think when I'm done filming this, we're going to have some lunch. Get some cozy on the couch before I have to get Wes. Um, so yeah. Okay. That looks cute. Um, I feel like I want to add some more in here. Um, let's do this one. She's very excited. With her holly in her hair so let's put her here christmas christmas break maybe in the middle it's a lot of modias on that side and put something there what else we've got new year's eve here hmm. oh this one has lights how cute i just realized what that was all right we need to use this one where should we use it um I like it here. Put it there. Ooh, this looks so cute. A lot, there's a lot going on, but that's okay. We've got some, we've got a birthday over here and a birthday over there. So let's add some of these birthday balloons. Oops. So mom's birthday. 
<clears throat> I was just laughing because I was my my uh, dad was like, "What can I get mom for her birthday?" He's like, "I don't know what to get her." He's like, we "Have her birthday, then we have her anniversary, and then Christmas." And I'm like, "Well, mom had the right idea when she said let's get married in December." <laughs> um, he's been struggling. <clears throat> All right, we've got payday stickers, if I can get them off. Okay, so I've got a payday here. And hmm, I'd like to say it's gonna be on the 29th, but I don't think so. But then again, it's holiday. Well, we'll go for the 29th, and if that changes, um, then that's fine. I will plan on that when I start planning on my new book, which I'm really excited about. Okay. I think, I think this might be done, guys. Let's look. Do I have anything else I wanna add on here? Um, I've got my highlights. These I'll take off and I'll end up putting them in my reusable sticker book. That's what I've been doing lately. Do I have another sheet? Let's see. I'm gonna save these for different um, things that might come up, but I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I don't know when Weston's, oh, I have um, Weston's dance tonight. So let's do, let's do this little heart and we'll write it in. I feel like Weston should be having like a concert or something. Um, he says it's gonna be after New Year. So hopefully I can trust that statement. We're going to draw an extra little heart there. I'm so excited for him. And I'm excited for her, too. Um, she actually asked him to be her boyfriend. He's so not ready to be a boyfriend. He even said it. He's like, I'm not ready to be a boyfriend. Which is fine. I'm glad that he recognizes that. But he does like her a lot as a friend. And um, she's just a really good human. She's a really good egg, that one. Um, so he was really excited to ask her to go to the dance. And he's like, I want to have somebody to dance with. And we're going to go use the photo booth. And he's like, make sure you give me money for snacks. And I'm like, well, okay, bud, I got you. <laughs> so super cute. I'm very excited for him. He's been looking forward to it. So that'll probably be in my highlight section for December. Um, because, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do these. We're going to do the highlight sections, guys. Okay. All right, let me know down in the comments what you think of this spread. Um, I'm excited for December. I'm like, all right, let's do this. December 1st, let's do it. Got this, right? We're all going to get our regular anxiety and put it on the shelf for a little while and pull out our fancy anxiety for the holidays, right? Okay, let me know down in the comments if you plan on doing the same. Um, like I said earlier in this video, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, we'd love to have you here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you forget. And if you um, want to be notified for any time we come out with something new on the channel, go ahead and hit the little bell notification and you will be notified by YouTube anytime we come out with something new here on the channel, which is going to be a lot coming up in these next few weeks. So you don't want to miss out on that. And if you enjoyed this video or any other video we've put out on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and we appreciate it so very much. Um, and that's going to do it for me, guys. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I truly, truly appreciate it. It means a lot. I know we're all busy. So thank you very much. And until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.